What is going on, beautiful people? Lee Hammock, diagnosed self-aware narcissist here, uh, known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of Why Do Narcissists? How Do Narcissists? In today's episode, we're going to talk about why don't narcissists like to go to therapy? Fact, case in point, I'm outside my therapist's office right now. I have a therapy appointment in about you know 13 minutes uh, and whatnot. So my last therapy appointment, uh, we just kind of went over the results of my my latest psych eval. I took the, like I said, I took the MMPI2 and the PDQ4. Still a narcissist uh, and general anxiety and things like that, which lead to high paranoia. But we're talking about why other narcissists don't go to therapy, why they don't seek help and things of that nature. I get a lot of slack. <laughs> Let's be real. I get a lot of slack and a lot of... Um, stuff from other self-aware nar- or from other narcissists and other people who are trying to help narcissists out and things like that it's like so how do we get them to go to therapy how why don't they, why won't they go to therapy why won't they take accountability yo therapy it's not easy it's it, it's just not let's be real therapy is not easy at all it's not an easy thing to do it's not an easy thing to cope with it's not an easy thing to to commit yourself to because me personally i'll be in therapy for the rest of my life that's just the commitment that I've made because that's the commitment I know I need. When I personally slack off of therapy, my life goes down. It just does. It's just like as therapy goes down, the quality of my life goes down. It's 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 tied. It's kind of tied together. The more therapy I do, the better. The more open, honest, and vulnerable I am in therapy, the better the qual- my quality of life gets. The better my relationships get and whatnot. So one of the main questions people ask me is like, "Have your relationships gotten better with their because you've been in therapy?" Yes, my 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 relationships have gotten better and more auth- authentic because I'm in therapy. But my, you notice I said mine. Not everybody that you talk to, that you deal with. As a, like, as a narcissist will get better if they go to therapy. The percentages are really, really low, y'all. I'm not, I haven't seen any studies or whatnot. I think, I but the percentages are really, really low. Most narcissists don't go to therapy. A lot of narcissists don't go to therapy because therapy is tough, y'all. It's tough as hell to deal with. It's tough to be open, honest, and vulnerable. It's tough to find a good therapist. It's tough to trust a therapist with you if you do find one. It took me, I've been, I've seen, been seeing the same therapist since October of 2017, y'all. Um, she's moved offices. I've moved. I've came. She moved offices when I first started seeing her, and I've been. I came to the new office because ugh, I dropped my phone. Because I, you know, I trust her. It wasn't. I've trusted her for a long time. It took me a while to trust her. You know, because I don't. You know, you think people are going to shame you? Most narcissists are trying to avoid. Most narcissists or sorry, y'all, are trying to avoid shame. So going in here and putting your shame on the uh, on the table for. Uh, pretty much a damn stranger to hear is it's tough to do it's tough to even think about it's tough to even consider y'all so putting my you know putting my trust in somebody that i don't know that i've never really met and to open my mouth and tell her my deepest darkest secrets is extremely tough and the thought of that the thought of doing that with somebody you know what i mean yeah the thought of uh, another narcissist doing that is extremely tough y'all uh, it, it just is you know I mean? because you don't want to be judged if a narcissist is scared to be judged by their friends and family how do you think they're going to react to being judged by somebody that they don't know off the internet? Somebody that they don't, somebody that they don't know that that's a recommendation from somebody else. You see what I'm saying? What is going on in this situation, in, in these dynamics, and you know, and whatnot? So one reason narcissists don't go to therapy is because they don't. It, it's it's tough. It's tough as hell. So many things. So many things have to go right for therapy to work for a narcissist. It just do. You have to find a therapist that you can trust. You have to be open, honest, and vulnerable. You have to make a commit, a long term commitment. This is not a one, two, three therapy type of thing. This is a long term commitment and whatnot that people have to make. You know what I mean? Absolutely. They just they just have to make a long term commitment, a long time commitment and whatnot to get better, to feel better, to be better. You know, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't go. Another reason is, you know, I made a, sh- a shorter video on this yesterday, but another reason is because some narcissists like to play the victim, y'all. Let's just keep it hot. Some narcissists don't like the stuff that I say because it, does, it doesn't make them feel all warm and cozy and welcome because I understand the dynamic. This is my perspective. You can't be nice to people who are not being nice to themselves and who are not being nice to others, who are not respecting other people's boundaries, who don't, who who are out here. Some of them like hurting people. Some of them like being narcissists and toxic people because it gives them an excuse to be bad, it gives them an excuse. 
Some of them like to be a victim, like, oh, my, my childhood was so tough and that's the reason I act this way. Is that a valid reason to grow up? And it, you can't you can't control who you were raised by, y'all. You absolutely cannot. But one thing I really I think you can control is how you act and how you behave and things like that as an adult. You can work on that type of stuff. I know it's tough. It's easier said than done for a lot of people, but it's, it's able to be done. You know what I mean? A lot of people get into these circumstances and these situations where like a lot of narcissists don't want to go in here because they like playing the victim. Let's be real. They don't like my stuff because it, it hurts their feelings and it makes them feel bad about themselves. But they like other narcissists who come out here and try to get, get sympathy from people. Hey, I had a bad childhood, so you got to sympathize with me. Hey, narcissists didn't ask to be this way, so y'all should show some empathy while they're treating you horribly. No. They, do narcissists deserve love and empathy? Yes, they deserve it, but not if they're treating people horribly. They have to earn it just like everybody else. You know what I mean? People, I think people just, look, I'm not going to support Lee Hammack no more. I don't care. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I have millions of other people that support me. But they, the, I, I think it's what I think people don't, don't understand. A lot of these channels that y'all, the narcissists see that they do like, that make them feel all warm and cozy on the inside and allows them to sit in their victimhood. Those channels started because of me. <laughs> you, I'm like, other than Sam Vaknin, I am the first self aware, uh, HG Tutor, I am the first self aware narcissist out here doing this on such a macro level. Millions of people to follow me. You see what I'm saying? It's just like th the birth of your favorite channel that makes you feel good and warm and cozy started because of me. And like, Lee, that sounds narcissistic, but it's true. Both things can be true. It can be, it can be narcissistic and it can also be true. You see what I'm saying? It can be narcissistic for me to say these channels were birthed because of my channel, but it's also true. It is. I'm going to combat Lee Hammocks and his mental information. Let me start my own channel. Boom. And I, yeah, I shared the channels that make you out, that make other narcissists. I shared the channels that don't agree with me. I shared them all the time. I respond and react to their videos to help their channels grow because like, look, I want to help get different viewpoints out of there. I want to share other perspectives as well. It doesn't bother me. I want to see narcissistic people get help. That's why at the beginning of my Narcissist Code podcast, you hear me say, I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist. The goal of this channel is to raise awareness for NPD, help more people get into therapy like myself. You know what I mean? But some narcissists want to sit in the victimhood. They just try to vilify me for raising awareness and putting, a vo putting my voice out there to show you that not all narcissists are evil, toxic-ass people. You know, have I done some toxic stuff? Yeah. But I'm making amends for that right now and doing my best to help as many people as I can right now. But some narcissistic people, like, this, like I said, they like to sit in the victimhood. They like to be the victim. They like to, oh, I ain't had this happen to me, so this is why I act the way I do. That's what goes on, y'all. That's the goal. That's what a lot of people go through. You know? They like playing the victim. They, you know, you know that's, just, that's just factual. You know, Lee, you sound, you, Lee, you sound bitter. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I get angry sometimes. I'm a narcissist. I take things personal when people criticize me. I do. I'm a narcissist. I, I think y'all keep forgetting. I'm a narcissist. I have a personality disorder. You know, so some people, just like I said, and some people do like, like, and another reason why narcissists don't go to therapy is because they, they actually don't think that they have a problem. It's like they, they don't think it's a problem because people keep enabling their behavior all the time. Y'all, people, you know, you get a toxic narcissistic person that's successful as hell and they can cheat, beat on, do whatever they want to to their partner, but everybody, somebody else will, will still take them. Somebody asked me the other day, you think Justin Bieber's a narcissist? I'm like, I, I have not done any kind of research. I have not seen Justin Bieber. I, I don't care about that. But I, I told them, I told people like, even if he is a narcissist, he can cheat on his wife in a public space and beat on his wife in a public space. I'm not saying he, he, he's done this, y'all. He will do this. I'm just saying he could do this stuff and somebody will make a justification for him and still be with him. Oh, he did that to her. He won't do that to me. That's what people will think. So th there'll still people be people. He will get supply. You know what I mean? He will get supply. That's one reason that some narcissists don't go to therapy because people they they are never held accountable. You know, they're they're never held accountable for their actions. So if I'm not ever going to be held accountable for my actions, or nobody has the ability to hold me accountable, why would I go go get help? Why would I change the way that I act? Why would I change the way that I behave if nobody has ever held me accountable or nobody ever going to be able to help me, hold me accountable? Because nobody has the ability to do that. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes people are afraid to hold that narcissist accountable or try to hold that person accountable. So the narcissist doesn't want to go to therapy. They don't need to. Why would I need to? I don't think I have a problem. People keep enabling my behavior or just keep coming back to me or keep forgiving me for the stuff that I do to them. Yeah, not everybody's an enabler, y'all. I'm not victim blaming. I'm just telling you, um, this is mind of, the mind of a narcissist. 
if you know nobody's going to hold me accountable and I people are going to keep coming back to me and give me supply or validate me or give me sympathy and things like that because I'm a victim, why would I go get help, y'all? Seriously, why would I go get help? Why would I try to change my behaviors if people are going to continuously accept my behaviors? You know, it, it's a it's a it's a long arduous process, but me, the reason I finally went to therapy is for, because of me, y'all. Because I got tired, of, I got literally got tired of sitting in that victimhood. I got tired of uh, knowing that I had something going on and not wanting to deal. I, got, I just got tired, y'all. I got tired of self sabotaging. I got tired of pushing my family and friends away. I got tired of changing jobs to try to make me happy. I got tired of battling myself. You mean I got tired of holding myself back? I got tired of feeling different and feel like I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, there's rarely anything positive that you see about narcissists and whatever. But I go to therapy because I want to be a positive influence over the narcissistic abuse and the narcissist community. But you know, you can't have both. You can't play it both ways, y'all. People think it's a battle between empath and nar- empaths, empath, empaths and narcissists. But I don't see it that way. I just think it's you know people are just looking for understanding on both sides or all sides of the dynamic. You know what I mean? That's what I. That's what I see. I'm trying to help as many people as possible go to therapy. I talk to narcissists all the time. That's what people don't understand. I do my one-on-ones over Zoom. I'm literally talking to people who think they are narcissists all the time, telling them my personal story, telling telling them my inner dialogue, my inner monologue, whatever I have going on, guiding them to resources to go to therapy. Hey, psychology today. Search for specialty by narcissists. You know, what I mean? choose somebody that think you think will fit you. If they don't fit you, and they look, go go on. You mean, I talk to these people in private all the time. Hey, Ali, I think I'm a narcissist. What can I do? Talk to me. I give you my resources to tell you what I've done to you, the books I've read. And I help people out. People don't see that, though, because I don't post about it all the time. But people don't see that. They just want to judge me. Well, he, he, he's pandering to victims. He's just profiting. All right, okay, whatever y'all say, man. Whatever y'all say. Whatever you, whatever you think. Whatever you say. You know what I mean? Well, actually, I have one minute before I go into therapy, y'all. Um... Thank you for tuning in to another episode. I might do an episode after therapy to see what's going on. But like and subscribe for more. And as always, as always, mental illness is out. Peace.